Hey guys, today I'm sharing with you the best chicken you can ever have. <laughs> Seriously, it is the best homemade chicken. It is one of my absolute favorite recipes to make. It is my chicken in the air fryer. Let's go right ahead and get started. In a bowl here, I have some butter that I have popped in the microwave and melted. This is one stick of unsalted butter. You don't have to use unsalted butter. You can use salted. You can use your regular butter that you use to like butter your bread. Whatever you have, just pop it in the microwave and get it melted. And to that, I'm going to go ahead and grate in about six cloves of garlic. Now, this recipe that I'm using right now is for about a chicken that's a little over four and a half pounds, close to five pounds. So depending on the size of your chicken and how much you're making is how much of this marinade that you want to make. So I'm going to go ahead and grate in about six cloves of garlic. Now you can use garlic powder if you want, but I highly recommend using fresh garlic because you're going to get a much cleaner and fresher taste and it's going to just make your dish taste so much better just by using the fresh garlic. We're also going to go ahead and grate in some onion. So I have about a half of an onion here and I'm going to go ahead and grate in about two to three tablespoons of that um, onion juice and pulp. So just grate that in. Now of course when you're cutting onions it can cause a lot of tears so grating it is not going to be any better so just you know be a little careful with that. Get all of that juice in there and whatever onion you have left over just leave that to the side because we'll be using that in a little bit. On a plate here, I have some lovely herbs. I have some culantro leaves and I have some cilantro leaves. Now, the reason why I have both is just because I was literally running out of my culantro. So you can use all cilantro or all culantro or mix it up like I'm doing if you don't have enough culantro. But whichever one you really want that flavor, it's going to give the chicken such amazing flavor. As well as I have a little sprig of rosemary and a couple sprigs of thyme. Now the rosemary and the thyme are absolutely optional. I've made this so many times and so many times without the rosemary and or thyme and it's delicious either way. But if you have it, just use a little sprig. It's great flavor. I'm gonna go ahead and work on just chopping up and finely mincing up my culantro and my cilantro. Place that into my butter. I'm also going to get the leaves off the rosemary. And leave the little sprig behind as well. Leave that aside with your onion. And I'm going to chop up my rosemary and my thyme into fine pieces. You don't really want too much rosemary or thyme because it can be a little bit overpowering, but a little bit goes a long way. It lends such beautiful flavor. I have one lemon here that I've washed. I'm going to go ahead and juice in one lemon. Try not to get any seeds in there. Again, keep your onion, your lemon peel, your rosemary sprigs, all of that. Just leave that aside. We don't want to waste any goodness, and we can definitely get some use out of it. Now, I have some complete seasoning here. They have different names for it, total seasoning, chicken seasoning. Um, you can use any one of those. I'm going to go ahead and add in a good amount of that in here. As you can see, i got a lemon seed in there. But we're going to add this in. It adds wonderful flavor to our chicken. As well as I've got some smoked paprika. If you don't have smoked paprika, just go ahead and use regular paprika. I will have all the amounts listed below. As well as some lemon pepper. Now, I love using lemon pepper in this, but if you don't have it, you're going to be fine. Don't worry. <laughs> just go ahead and use what you've got. 
And we're gonna add in some good black pepper. We want a lot of black pepper. Black pepper has wonderful flavor. It goes amazing with chicken. as well as some salt. Now you want to add in salt, but you don't want to add in too much salt because the complete seasoning, um, you can use seasoned salt if you have that. Um, all of those things have a lot of sodium in it, so you do want to be careful with the amount of salt that you use, but I find that I still do need a little bit of salt even after adding all those things in. Give that a nice a mix around, make, every, make sure that everything is thoroughly mixed. Now I have my chicken here, I have a whole chicken, and what's great about this recipe is you can use a nice organic piece of chicken, or a natural as you can get it. A lot of times when you go out there and you buy rotisserie chicken, you don't know what you're getting, okay? <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm pulling back the skin and pushing my hand under that skin to, to loosen it up, just so I can get under that skin. You can also take your hand and go run it around by the drumsticks to make sure and get all inside of the drumsticks, as well as you can try and go around the wing areas because we want to get really under the skin of the chicken. We're not going to tear the chicken skin. Try not to tear it, but you definitely want to loosen it up so we can get all of that seasoning under there. I'm going to take a nice little handful here small handful and just tuck it under the skin and rub it in the chicken. Now the breast side of the chicken where it usually can be kind of dry. Now trust me, this chicken is anything but dry when it's finished. It's so moist and juicy. But what we're going to do is we're going to take the tip of our knife and cut a slit into the breast area here. Just cut a little area, not all the way through, but just make a little pocket so we can stick some of that goodness in there. So while this is cooking, eh, the butter is going to melt into the chicken and those flavors are going to melt into the chicken. And just continue tucking the seasoning under the skin of the chicken all the way around. Try and get it as much as you can everywhere that you need to. I'm also going to do the other side here. Get under the skin. And tuck our and tuck our seasoning under the skin. And you want to make sure and also get a lot of that seasoning and rub it onto the skin. This is what's going to help crisp up the skin of your chicken, make it nice and crispy, crunchy. That butter is going to help crisp up that skin. So you definitely want to make sure that the outside is nice and well coated. Now, if your chicken is cold, your butter will start to harden up on you, so you're still going to be fine. Don't worry about that. I got my onion, my lemon, my rosemary. I'm sticking it inside of my chicken. You can add some garlic cloves, and that's going to lend such amazing flavor. Don't leave any of that marinade behind. Make sure all of that chicken, even the inside of the chicken, gets rubbed down with that marinade. We want this to marinate and sit here and marinate for about 30 minutes. The longer the better. If you can do this overnight, you got a great chicken. So leave it as long as you got 20, 30 minutes and preheat your air fryer. Now I have the iKeeches air fryer here. This was sent to me a while back ago, but this is such an amazing air fryer. I love that I can remove the grate from it so it makes cleaning super easy. It is so powerful. It does such an amazing job. I cannot say enough good things about it. I will have the link below in the description box for you. It is a really large six quart air fryer. I'll have that link below for you. I just think it's such a great air fryer and I've used it with this chicken so many times. So you want to make sure and preheat your air fryer, follow the instructions and directions to whatever your air fryer says. But I think a good time amount for this is about 30 minutes each side, 25 to 30 minutes each side, around 375 to 385 degrees, depending on whatever your air fryer says. But I would go for about 385 for about 25 to 30 minutes. Take it out and you want to flip it halfway through and let it go for another 30 minutes or so. The second time around I go for about 375 
and you want to let it go again for another 20 to 30 minutes until your chicken is fully cooked through. That is the most important step. You want your chicken to be fully cooked through. After it is done, a nice crispy outside skin, delicious. Those juices that have rendered out into your little pan here, I, re I reserve that and I pour it over the chicken when I'm finished cutting it up. And there you go. Lunch is done. Dinner is done. It is so easy. It's one of the easiest things that you can put together. And honestly, it's one of the best chicken dishes, in my opinion. I absolutely love it. This is a great thing that I like to do whenever I'm now coming home from the grocery store or something. I get a chicken, pop in the air fryer, and we have a quick lunch or dinner. As you can see, that chicken is super juicy. It is not a dry chicken. It is flavorful and so juicy. And I'm telling you, go ahead and give this recipe a try. You will not regret it. If you've got to get an air fryer just for this recipe, it's worth it. Because no more buying with dessert chicken for me. It tastes kind of like a fire roasted grilled chicken. I don't know how to describe it. You got to try it yourself. If you do try it and you enjoy it, let me know. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.